Okay, I just want to briefly speak on quite a few videos I saw on YouTube regarding Diddy, formerly known as P. Diddy. Now, we've already known or had some type of idea that that P. Diddy was a sodomite. We knew that already. But we really didn't know, or personally, I didn't know the very depths of that rabbit hole. No pun intended. Now, Clyde Davis is alleged to have had a relationship, a five-year relationship with Diddy. An old white man. What is up with these brothers dating old white men? I remember, who was that? Nature Boy was in a video with an old white man for money. Brothers, is that where we are now? Is that what we're doing today? Prostituting yourself out to white men? Is that what we're doing today? You're going on your knees in front of another man for fame and fortune. What would a man give in exchange for his soul? Now, a lot of what we hear about P. Diddy, you've heard about that, but it's sickening, man. The videos now, I question Jaguar White, I mean, Jaguar, Jaguar, Jaguar Wright and Gene Dill. Now, these are the two main sources because the videos I watched, they all got their information from Jaguar, Jaguar Wright, having problems pronouncing that woman's name, Jaguar White. You know who I'm talking about. So they either got it from Jaguar Wright or Gene Dill. My question is, how do you guys know so much information? Now, I know Gene Dill was his bodyguard, but how can you be around that energy, that environment, and not be tainted yourself? How could Gene Dill not be tainted himself being P. Diddy's bodyguard? You're in that environment. You see what's going on. So how can you be in that environment, bodyguarding this dude, and you're not tainted in some kind of way? You mean to tell me that he never made a move on you? No man has ever made a move on you and you walked in on him and another man doing something? So I question Gene Dill. Now, Jaguar, right, I said it right that time, she looks like a lesbian to me, man. She looks like she's a butch. Now, I could be wrong, but what is up with these lesbian females that call themselves exposing black men today? You have black lesbians that's exposing black men and we don't really hear too many of y'all exposing lesbians there's a lot of black females that are on the dl just like there's a lot of black men that's on the dl so why aren't you criticizing the females that's going between other women legs but yet you would make it news when you hear about a black man going between another man's legs. Now, it's all disgusting, but it's like those people that talk about snitching. Now, if you are in that lifestyle yourself, isn't it snitching for you to tell on somebody else that's doing the same thing that you're doing or living the same life that you're living? So how can you point fingers 
at P. Diddy or any other dude that's on the DL that's a sodomite when you are a sodomite yourself. Make sense of that for me. So it's like the pot caught in the kettle black. So Jaguar Wright looks like a lesbian to me. And I almost guarantee you, because of the environment that we live in today and because of the fact that she was also in the music industry, I would not doubt it at all if she's been in a relationship with a woman. And I would not doubt it at all if she's in a relationship now with a woman. And again, Gene Deal, how could y'all know all of this with details and not be tainted yourself? So I question the messengers. They say don't 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 shoot the messenger, but I don't know. I I I question Jaguar Wright and Gene Dill. You guys know a bit too much for you not to have dabbled in that into that lifestyle yourself. And I remember there was a time, man, like when you had all these rappers, man, run into the church. Mace was one of them. Right. So you had all these rappers all of a sudden run into the church. Something scared them. They were trying to run from that that lifestyle. But you can't run from, from yourself. You can't. Wherever you go, there you are. Now, when it come to Clyde Davis, man, that's a mind blower, man, because you got these dudes, man. P. Diddy was in a five year allegedly relationship with Clyde Davis, an old white man just like Nature Boy was. So no wonder, and you know what? They're saying that the over 400 years of slavery or captivity or the curse is up, and now you find black Americans putting themselves back into that curse again. It's sad, man, it's sad. It's really sad.